Rhino Bucket with Hello Citizens. CBT guitar lesson for Dawn. Dawn, this is a, I know this is your first CBT lesson. I'm pretty darn sure. Um, tuning is flat for this, but what I, and five pages of tabs. What I wanted to um, tell you really quick is I was, I've got a lot of CBTs right now. <clears throat> I'm not seeing your email. Um, and I'm not seeing a text on my phone, and I don't know how you contacted me on this, but you did it somehow. I'll do a search again after, but I want to make sure I got your email. If something crazy bizarre happens and you see this video, hit me up ASAP so I can uh, email the tabs over to you. But it's got to be here somewhere, but I, I'll do a, a more thorough search. Um, great song, obviously. Rhino Buck is set, you know, ACDC. It's got that total vibe. I love it. It's just rock and roll, right? So um, the tuning is flat. Section 1A, 2 seconds in, 2A, 4D, so it's a B power chord, and then go to uh, open A, 4D, go, let it ring, and then go right back to that B power chord and do a pull off to an open A, it's really quick, but it's in there, into a D, which is open D, 2G, 3B. Back to the B power chord, 2A, 4D, to open E, 2A. Well, that's cool, because that's that's already down, you know? It's ready to go. It's gonna go up. It's actually one time of that, and then section uh, 1B, 14 seconds in. Let me see something, because there might be two times on No, it is one time when the bass and the hi-hats come in. So 14 seconds in, it's still those chords basically, but it's uh, building off of it. It's the B power chord, 2A, 4D. And then a quick rest into string mutes, which you're definitely going to want to get used to these. Um, a lot more common with like rock bands. From mutes, basically A, D, G string, or you know, E, A, D, you don't have to go hit all of them, you just want to, that sound leading into open two and three on the D, G, and B string. That's our D chord, so it's, quick rest there, and then the mutes again to the E5 power chord, open E and two A. Three, four. It's going to go seven times of all that. You'll see double dots in music that means repeat everything within. So one time being times seven. And then open, this is all, all be on the top string, the low E string, string six. Go open four, open five, open six, open. It's. You can use your first finger for all that or if you want to work out the fingers, index, middle, and third. Whatever you're feeling there. Better work out to use a three, but at the end of the day, you know, make sure you feel comfortable with it. Section 251, um, no, section 1C, 38 seconds in. And what this is, is the same as section 1B, but you don't have to worry about the repeats on the. You'll just play that straight through. In other words. Actually, <clears throat> four times complete what I just played, which is what they do. Then section two, 51 seconds in, and uh, this is uh, just straightforward: B5, A5, E5, and then some uh, open position chords, G and A. Check it out. It's So 2A, 4D, open E to a A5 power chord, open A, 2D. Open E, 2A to E power chord. <clears throat> then we're going to change to the rock G, third fret E muted A. You're naturally going to mute it with the angle of this finger. And then 3B, 3E. So when you strum it, that's what you got, you know, the A's muted. <laughs> You're gonna go 
one, two, three. To an A major. Open A, second fret D, G, and B. I like to bar that. You can use three fingers if you want. But it's all the strings except the E strings. You're gonna go uh, seven times. So we have. And then one minute, five second in, time stamps. Back to section 1A one time. And then a new part here, section 3A, a minute eight in. It's the B5 to a D to an E. Check it out. 2A, 4D. You'll go. So, B5 to the D, to the E5, again with the rest, and then again to an A5, and then hit the A5 again. So here it is. Times three. followed with B5, D, and a full E major chord, which is this. So B5 power chord. When you hear the term five at the end of a chord, it means it's a power chord. It's a root fifth chord, two string chord. And then our D, I'm just not putting the F sharp note in that one. And then a full E major, all right, which is two A, two D, one G, hit all six strings. Now there's two guitar players, one's probably going, but I can hear a fuller chord behind it. I wanted to give you that one. Impact, right? Section 3B, a minute 22 in, we're back to this groove that's been pretty consistent with the string mutes. B, D, and E, you'll go. So the B5 mutes to D, mutes to E5, mutes to E5, and then E5 to A5. Two times of that. Repeats at a minute 29. Section 4, a minute 43 in. We're going to go 2A, 4D. So it's our B5 power chord. Open A, 2D. This is cool. Open E, fourth fret, or um, I'm sorry, open E by itself, and then fourth fret E, barred second fret A and D string. It's these three notes. That's called an E major slash G sharp or A flat. It's got an altered bass note on it. Okay, so some people would, you know. So you're looking at this. And then that rock G that we did earlier, 3E, 3B, and 3E, muting the A string. One, two, three. And then the A, seven times, just like last time. Series of repeats till you get to the solo, um, two minutes, 25 seconds in, 12th fret G and B, index finger barred, and you're just gonna hit them both and bend, go. And then pre-bend the ninth fret. What that means is, have it a whole step up, pick, release, pull off to seven. So, it's a whole step. That's the note you want to start on. Tough if you haven't done these um, before, Don. So if you need to, practice the pre-bend release, go. There's our 11, keep that in your eardrum. seven all right from there go 9d so it's 7d third finger half step pre-bend so it's gonna be that note but from the seventh fret um, pre-bend release plop to five and then 7g bend vibrato so it's 
then start it over. Pre bend release the 9G, pull off to 7 to 9D. Same thing here, half step, pre bend release 7D, pull off to 5. And you can have it down or up, whatever you feel. 8B bend, vibrato. So the hook there is the same. 2 minutes 34 seconds, kind of percussive part, barred 7th fret on the G and B, go. So strum, mute, strum, mute, strum, vibrato. So it's. Nine pull off to seven on the D string, palm mute nine A, and then seven nine on the D. Nine pull off to seven, nine A. So it sounds like this. Nine G and B, I'd go first finger, and then uh, quick rest, string mutes to nine, again, so it's, and then go, uh, that last time on the 9GB, go, you're going to go uh, down, up, down, 10, 11 on the G, so it's back to the 9's half step bend. Jump back, bar the 7th fret, G and B, go up, down, 7's to 9's, bend, half step. Alright, so, again, but don't bend. Pull off to the sevens. And then palm mute nine seven D G. So it's and then seven G B vibrato, so it's so nine pull seven D palm mute nine A seven D. 9D vibrato, pull off the 7, palm mute 9A, sounds like this, 7D, and then 9G, third finger, you're kind of walking right into it, you're going to bend a whole step, that's a 2 fret bend, and then down up, 10th fret on the B, and do that twice, it's, so we have, pre-bend 9th fret, release, and then 7G. So we have 10B bend, full step, and then 7E, 107B. And then this is cool, kind of faster shred stuff. Um, on the B string, 10th fret, pick, pull to 9 and 7, to 9G. And then 7B upstroke. 10 on the G, pull to 9 and 7. Same concept though. To 9D. So we have 9 DGD down up down. And use your third finger more as a shift, as in a lift. You want to go. And then 7th fret on the G and B bend, half step. So it's. So we have nine pull seven on the D, palm mute nine A, and then seven nine seven on the D. Top of page four, ten B twelve G. I'm going to use my first and third finger back with the middle finger to help bend. <coughs> it's a unison bend, so uh, bend the G string twelfth fret a whole step to 12B, and then first finger, 12B, vibrato, to 13G, 14B, we're going to do a half step, that's one fret, pre-bend release, pull off to 12, sounds like this, it's copying this, and then 14B, 13G, so it's 12, 12B, 13G, so it's 251 timestamp, 15B bend vibrato. So we have. Half step, bend release, pull off to 12, from 14 to B, or 14B. And then 14, 13G, 12B twice, 
13G 12B, that riff sounds like this. And then, this is cool, 12B hammer to 15, 12 high E hammer 13 pull 12, and then 15, 12 B E, sounds like this. Fourteen pull 12 on the E, and then 15, 12 B E, so if you played all that. 15 pull 12 on the B, 14 12 GB. Let's do all that. <laughs> 15 B bend twice, 12 slide. 2 minutes 58 seconds, 7 E, 10 B. I'm going to back that with my middle.